Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I am doing off against YCS Champ Champ. That is my boy Kamal Crooks. Actually, King of Games versus myself. In this video, I'll be showcasing you guys a replay from a past tournament we played in with my deck versus his. So if you guys are ready for a DB Grinder style commentary video, shout out my boy DB. You come to the perhaps the right place. Let's get into it, boys. So and sorry. I'm not playing Pendulum, but I'm playing the best deck after Pendulum in this format. We gotta wait for those Draco Slayers. We gotta wait for those anti spells to get out of the format to play Pendulum. But, anyways, if you guys are ready the video, I want you to smash the subscribe and smash the like button. This is gonna be a high, 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 high rated Dueling Book video. I sound like DB Grinder. Gotta love to see it. Let's go! So, in this match, we are getting ready because guess what, guys? I can't lose. I told everyone in this tournament I have to win. And with a hand like this, like, have you ever seen a more broken hand in your life, aside from five Pendulum cards? I have Rite of Aramisir, 60 cards, by the way, Foxy Tune, e Telly, Soul's Hand Trap. This is, like, literally God Hand. It is literally Servant, and not as good as Servant as four spells, but almost as good as Servant and two spells. My opponent here, Kamal, also opens e Telly, One Hand Trap, Regulus, and Deer Gnome. Now, in my opinion... Okay, so Kamal, he's an amazing player. In my opinion, I don't think Therions are that good. I actually, I hate Therions. In the Punk deck, I feel like at times he could brick. For example, like this, uh, if he was going first, and let's say Ash the Italy, for example, wasn't going too well. But if this Regulus was, for example, I mean, I'm playing 60 cards, who am I to talk? But if this could get itself to the field somehow, I think Therions could have a lot more value. I saw in a recent video, I think it was Kamal's deck, that he was playing Scorpio and Cobra. And I think that's really, really cool because even versus hand traps, you're at least going to be able to set up your Lily. So if you're still playing, I think that version is really cool. I didn't get to see it in game one, but I saw one of his, his decks uh, against DB, uh, DB Grinder's video. He was playing uh, a, a Prada Plant package. I think that's actually really insane because it makes it so Lily and Therian Coliseum are no longer bricks per se that need Chaos Ruler to resolve to play. But like you have plants that kind of like put them to the graveyard and it's like i think that's a, a lot cooler and i think everyone should be playing that version i saw it once on db grinders uh channel i thought it was insane uh here with this hand one veiler obviously won't be enough when we open like one of each starter essentially uh, it's too much uh i purposely set up the souls here because i know i look at my hand and my hand's absurdly broken so i purposely set up the souls first for him to hand trap but this is a classic play that people do playing brave where you special the souls to trigger the uh, draco box so you don't have to discard a card you care about but then by doing though your, your souls is susceptible to a hand trap i did not want my azea uh, mean to be hand trapped so i opted to special this to let this be hand trapped i was not going to negate it uh because i couldn't and then i special griffin now i know my actual plays are going to resolve and then when he sees it i tell him like yo my hand's so insane he's like yeah gg I'm like, yo, it's 60 cards, it's too crazy. So here, I open an even other crazy, crazy, crazy hand. My, my, de my deck's insane, guys. My deck is insane. I have Nib, Ash, Valor. <laughs> like, this is just insane. Going second, Nib, Ash, Valor, that's just GG. He has anti-spell. This is what I'm saying, guys. Pendulum, this format's really tough because of anti-spell. Uh, I, I Ash, the Itali, he goes for... Now, if you look, let's say, for example, he, used, he set up the Griffin. Okay, let's say, for example, the Griffin was set up. So let's say he went Griffin. Let's say he discarded the Zayamine. Uh, special Griffin, get Draco back. Uh, and then he e tellies. I'm still Ashing the e Telly. He'll negate with Griffin for sure. Putting it back in deck. Maybe he could have Griffin first, but even then, it didn't matter. I Ash really imperm. Like, it doesn't matter. My hand's cracked. Like, like, as good as Kamal could play this, there's no answer because what are you going to do? For a combo deck to play around, Nib, Ash, Valor. This is not Pendulum. Only Pendulum can play around Nib, Ash, Valor uh, with Ignites and Draco Slayers. But uh, with Nib, Ash, Valor, shout out my pen scales in the background. There's nothing that could be done unless you're playing Pendulum. This, this is just an insane hand. All, like, all my hand is missing right now is like basically Enchantress and it's just GG. Uh, also, Nib giving me a token is absurd. Now, here's where the first uh, huge technical play begins is I have to make a choice now. Of course, Chaos Ruler is going to resolve. Now at the resolution, I have to make a choice, okay? So let's say he goes Needle Fiber, okay? Needle Fiber special, uh, what could Needle Fiber special? Plague Spreader, to put Plague Spreader in the grave, Jet, to put Jet in the grave. I'm making an executive decision here. Uh, he could special Rose Dragon, but I don't even know what version he's playing of the deck. Pretty sure Plague Spreader was coming. Uh, then I'm just like, you know what? Why not be safe? 
why not just Nibiru now? If he goes Plague Spreader or Jet, he'll have a token. I know he can't do much, but it gives him a card in the grave. He'll add a card. He'll add right to his hand. Like, I'd rather just not give him an opportunity to do any of this. Uh, why not just stop it in his tracks? Uh, a play that could be done, let's say he goes... Uh, let's say he goes jet, uh, special, uh, special Jet Synchron. I Nibiru at Resolution. Uh, he specials Jet Synchron from the grave. Uh, relinquish Anima to put our Link Karibo. Uh, Link 2... Uh, special Chaos Ruler. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to risk three monsters on the board for nothing. Just stop now. The only thing I lose from Nibiru now is that he can still Needle Fiber next turn. But I'm like, in this scenario, when I know his only card is Valor and a right for follow-up, even if I draw nothing, this hand alone with Nibiru on the field and him having no follow-up with no dark for, for a Chaos Ruler is plenty enough. So I nib and Valor. I'm like, what can you do with three hand traps? He's going to search his right here. And well played on his end is just, you know, when you open nib, there's not much you could do here. So now I look at this, I know the, everything he has, so I'm going to normal Plague Spreader. There's so many plays I could do at this point. I could special, I could go Plague Spreader, I could, uh, uh, four, I could go Plague Spreader with Nib, go into Dark. Uh, sorry, is that the play? Yeah, go into Dark. No, here's the play. I go Plague Spreader. Yeah, Plague Spreader, Dark, Special Chaos Ruler, Force the Veiler, Special Arborea, uh link climb kill him or something like that uh or i can just draw right of me here <laughs> or why why you even think just draw right of me here have plague spreader this is just easy game there's no answer to this uh this, this is a you can play through this multiple ways and ggs uh my deck's absolutely insane both of our decks are insane uh there's not much you could do uh i don't like the therions i never did i feel the therions are stuck in the hand a little too much and you're just forced to mill nine just for what you mill nine and let your opponent mill four just to send a theory onto the grave. Like, it's just not worth, not much value. Uh, but we came through. Our, our heads were just absolutely absurd. Uh, shout out to Kamal. He was not able to obviously play through that. Like, we just literally opened God Hands both hands. And uh, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. So, <laughs> that's, the, that's the format, kind of. Uh, this is the deck that I used against him. I do have a 45-card version of this deck that I just put on my Patreon. Some people don't like 60 uh, 60 is the new 40, baby. When you're playing cards like Prosperity, Small, Italy, Foxy, right? Enchantress, like, Sangan, like, these are 21, uh, 21 one-card starters. Even Zayamina and Ogre Dance when you don't open Enchantress. This is 25 one-card starters. Even Pike Spread is a one-card starter. Jet's a one-card starter. Like, you have so many one-card starters in the deck. Who gives a shit? You can play fucking 100 if you want. As long as you're always projected to open two starters or something, which this deck does, with a billion... With the billion hand traps. Like, if you cut this deck to 40, sure, you could do that. But you just have to play less hand traps. Like, by playing 60, you're just ensuring that you're playing hand traps. The ratios still say the exact same. But if you guys do want to see the 45 version, I do have it on my Patreon. You can also cut it to 40 by removing, like, my small world. It's not playing small world in 40, 45. But for small world to build a, to make it so you play 13 enchantresses and, like, uh, 12 ways to Zamin is just absurd. Also, it makes it so you have 7 ways to Rose Dragon. You have 9 ways to Sangan. So it's like... Small World is, is actually crazy when you're playing like One Souls, One Rose, Sangens. Like you just always have ways to get it. It's actually really amazing. Uh, this is the side deck. One thing I would change, I would probably remove Zombie Vampire for Lina. Lina has come up multiple times for me. I would also potentially put in Punisher. Some decks just can't deal with it. And a cool play against Despia is you just go through the motions against Despia, let Masquerade burn you for 6,000, then you just summon Punisher and win. So that's a cool little thing there. So shout out to Kamal for the match. Uh, shout out to uh, the Tournament of Power. Uh, Roberto, Roberto uh, Patterson's tournament, uh, Peterson. It was a very cool tournament, and I'm in the semifinals of it right now, I believe. So, uh, more videos on that, especially when I win the whole thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.